One of the larger works in the Morningstar catalog by Philip Stopford is his setting of the festival Benedicite, and we're going to visit with him a little bit about this publication. Philip, uh, can you explain the origin of this work and why you decided to write it? Yes, um, the festival Benedicite, or Benedicity perhaps as we would, we would call it in the UK, which is fine, um, was, was, com was composed um, for the Leighton Buzzard Festival Singers, and my father is, is, is a singer in the Leighton Buzzard Festival Singers, and ten years previously I had done the Mate Deum. When I was when I was uh, younger, ten years younger, obviously. <laughs> so this is sort of the follow up to that, and um, they're a they're a choral society made up of about a hundred singers, and it's a, it, this was a great piece for their celebrating. I think it's their fiftieth or sixtieth anniversary, um, as as a choir, and the festival Benedicity text is a is a a beautifully colourful text uh, taken from the the morning prayer, the Anglican morning prayer, uh, book of common prayer. It talks about the sun, the moon, the stars, the, the rivers. The, it's just it's a beautiful song of creation and would, would work very well for um, uh, a Thanksgiving themed service or, or, or creation or praise or a choral prelude or something like that would, 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 be, would be lovely and comes in the three movements, of course. So it's available. You could, you could do just the first movement or the last or the, the beautiful duet in the middle. I hope it's beautiful. I think it is. Right. I think it is too. I think it is. Yes, I, we did publish all of these separately. You can do it either in, as a complete work That's or right. individually. Yes. yes. I did notice that uh, one of the things I enjoy about the work is that you set up a theme in the first movement that you then reprise in the last movement yes. where you return. But yes. the joyfulness in that last movement is really quite striking. Uh, do you want to talk about the differences between those two settings? Yes, definitely. I mean, the the first is the first movement is very much in a three four time and has that lovely sort of almost one in a bar dum 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 dum. It has a lovely sense of flow and and mm -hmm. and uh, lovely melodies and, and tunes and, and that just shape around around the phrases around the text and the different colours of the text and the accompaniment also is a beautiful organ sort of um, accompaniment with lots of quarter notes and ha and half notes flowing and running up and down. Scale and things so it's really a colorful colorful piece in three four and then the last movement is in two two and it's quite strong and bold and 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 has a real set it's, 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 it's a bit more regal really mm -hmm. um, but it returns then to the to the three four flowing section as almost as a surprise really mm -hmm. almost as a, you've given it away right. <laughs> right. 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 but it's always as a surprise you know it, it, it comes back and, and you think oh yes familiar because it's it's oh all ye works of all ye works of the Lord mm -hmm. really and it's sort of I feel it sums up the piece really. I think the, yeah. I think you could do the third movement and it would stand on its own. Oh yes, definitely. But I think it's yeah. extremely powerful when you've also heard the, the first, first movement. Absolutely, definitely. Uh, and and it's only what uh, fifteen, twelve minutes or something about twelve something minutes like long. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you know, it's it's a it's a great. Uh, it's a great piece for a choral society or choir to get their teeth into, as mm -hmm. we would say. You know, they, and and uh, actually, it's strictly in four parts as well. So the chorus parts, other than the duet, the chorus parts are just soprano, alto, tenor, bass, and are designed. It's it's not complicated music yet. It has um, a flow, a good sense of flow and fun to it as mm -hmm. well. It's a fun mm -hmm. thing to to learn. Yeah. Do you find multi movement works to be more challenging? Uh, I do. Yes, although I'd split them up into you know, into the different different sections. I felt very much that this was a three section sort of a three a three movement piece. Like a concerto would be as well, mm -hmm. like a piano concerto or something. You've got sort of fast, slow, fast, you know, as a basic concept and then um, yeah it, it, it seemed to work work for me that way very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well we have several other uh, works in our catalogue that were developed around the Episcopal uh, movements and worship such yes. as for Evensong yes. and things. I knew you grew up as a chorister. Did you find it hard to set those tunes that you've sung by so many other composers? I think yes. You know, with with the Magnificat and Demetrius, especially, uh, it is is a challenge every time. You know, because there are hundreds and hundreds of settings of that. But um, one of the joys, again, back back to the, the Benedicity, is that um, it it was commissioned by a particular choir in a particular venue, and I know the choir and I know what they're capable of, and I know that th that this equally would fit within the capabilities of many many choirs, mm -hmm. and I know that that they enjoyed performing it the first time, and I know that other people will as well. Okay, well, we have a wonderful recording of this, and uh, we want to hear a sample of it now. <laughs> 